Hello, Carmel. I'm hoping I've got your name right. And uh, I know you said it's a nickname, but it's a pretty name. I've, I've enjoyed using it. I hope you're going to find this reading useful and enjoyable. You've only asked me about your twin flames, so I have very little information to go on, but uh, I can work with the energy of your numbers, and this tells me a lot about you, and also the numbers of and, and coordinates of your time, date, and place of birth. They all help to show me the character of you. And um, so I'm hoping that it will be correct. And um, I just need to say that not everything is set in stone. Time scales are notoriously difficult to be accurate about. Things do manifest when they want to. And there may be some things that I may talk about that may not make sense to you, even for perhaps up to a year. But eventually things will come to pass. So um, hold on to your hat. Uh, I, I feel that you need another perspective in things and, and I actually get this feeling and especially when I'm looking at um, the numbers that you've chosen you scatter your energies a little bit too much and I think that you need to sort of draw those in but first of all I like to look at your personality and I think you're a bit of a multi-talented individual and you don't conform to traditional ways of thinking or doing things other people can be swayed by your conviction, but you can make a spectacular turnaround in your ideas and the things that you think. But you really have a unique combination of originality, intuition and flexibility. So it means that you have the ability to attract and keep success if you want. And certainly working with others will be a very good thing for you. I think you assess a situation quickly and formulate an appropriate course of action but you're capable of dramatically changing direction as long as it takes you in a direction that you want to go. You now have the maturity to understand that there will always be a different viewpoint and even so you've got values and belief to guide you but you never shout, sh shut out options anything that could potentially bring good fortune your way. I think you have a unique mixture of seriousness and fun and you're easily able to relate to anyone that you meet and that's why you find or, or men find you so attractive. But sometimes, you know, you can be so busy being who you think other people want you to be that you can lose sight of who you really are. I think that maybe you need to understand your goal in life. What do you want to do? Because you have an ability to adapt and strike out in any new direction, you could be a trailblazer, you know, rather than thinking you can depend on somebody else. You certainly have the ability to do things yourself. You have power of communications, you have versatility, and certainly you have charisma. And you have potential to attract much more success than you could have ever dreamed of. You tend to wear your heart on your sleeve. And you prefer relationships that are honest and open. And you're never short of admirers, as we can see. But you do long for security of a relationship that will allow you to be truly yourself. If your lover will respect you with an honest approach, you will be loyal. You will be entertaining. And more than that, you'll be a very loving partner. You certainly have a complicated emotional life and this can predispose you to nervousness and sensitivity and possibly some unhealthy lifestyle choices. I'm not saying you eat wrong or whatever, but you could be prone to hypertension or even heart problems in later life. It's important that you have a sensible diet and that you really learn to sit back and let the world flow by don't know what you do for a career but anything that requires action or the ability to think or react quickly is good for you you could have been drawn to medicine you could have been drawn to anything that needs this sort of thing you love change so I'd be surprised if you stick at one thing for a long long time but you're also very much um, a humanitarian and if you set up your own business then you would excel but you would excel in the um, creative arts too. 
Your destiny is to break new ground, to discover who you really are and what you want out of life. And I do think that you can reach further than you've ever done before with your the ability to do uh, what you want to do and to motivate other people. It's a very interesting time for you at this, at this time. Um, there are some negative moods around people and sometimes even with yourself. And it's, it's funny because your, your sense of confidence can go a little bit up and down. And you feel as if you've met these people who are twin souls, twin flames, um, this sort of thing, but you're so unsure about it. Strange as it seems, there is a constructive side to all of this because it's helping you find out who you are. And I do think that you can um, use this time as a very positive time. But first of all, I think that I need to talk about the person that I think you said is in Birmingham and uh, has a birthday on the 20th of June. As you, you've asked me a little bit about him and uh, you've, you've said it was your last question. Is there a twin soul flame phenomenon or just a connection between you two? Well, this person is quite affectionate and spontaneous with everyone that they meet. Expressing emotions can come naturally to him, but um, he, one thing he can't be is indifferent. He seems exciting because love is ne life is never dull around him because most things will elicit, elicit um, a, a reaction from him. He's dramatic, charismatic, and he is a charmer. He can talk, and he, to be honest, he loves being the centre of attraction. He's got excellent communication skills, which you will like. Sometimes, though, he'll close up and be quiet, and this you will find fascinating. But he loves excitement. He's a witty conversationalist when you can engage him in the right way, but he is needy of praise, and if he doesn't get the reinforcement he craves, he may respond with attention-seeking or some irrational behaviour. You have, you might not have seen it, but you have to know it. He is quite a nice person, I think, and I think he's more than interested in you because he's also a creative person, but he's got some passionate responses to certain things and he can make you feel like the only person in the world. He can create fireworks unnecessarily though, so be prepared. He has considerable intuitive power and he can help weigh up he can't help weighing up situations and I do think that he can enchant people. I feel that he is so popular that he simply might not have time for that special someone. However, if you just fall in love, it will be an, in an incredibly fulfilling experience. He's drawn to intelligent and level-headed individuals who can help calm and balance him. And yet, his, really, his destiny is to encourage others and, and for him to be a bit more open and a bit more receptive. Now, he, I think, as strange as it may seem, I actually think he probably is a twin soul. And um, because not all twin souls are people that you would marry, but certainly people that you would feel very much connected to. And I think that this is the case with this person. This very interesting person and uh, a person who has quite a lot to give. He has a lot of interesting things to say, but he's not somebody to be tied down. I don't know if he's married or divorced, um, but he's, how old would he be? Um, uh, it, it's, he'd be 50 something, won't he? And uh, it's, he's, he's going to be a very interesting person. And I can understand your attraction to him. But, you know, you do have to be a little bit careful and you do have to protect yourself a little bit. Now, you've really talked about twin flames, twin soul, cosmic twin. Now, I like that, that name. 
and you've asked about the connection between you and a man whose initials are RP, living in the UK, born in West Bromwich, who probably lives in the Midlands and Wales. Now this is an interesting and mysterious feeling around the initials here, and um, I get a feeling that is it, this is somebody that you can feel a very strong connection with, but that you can't get into the depths to understand him. He's mysterious. You, you don't give me his age so I, I, or his birth date, so I don't know how old he is. But I, I get a feeling that this is a cosmic twin. Different again to twin soul. Now I know that in, in lots of places they say, oh no it isn't because it's all the same thing. But believe you me, it is not. And I think that you really do need to understand that because I feel that, um, sorry I'm going backwards and forwards to your email, a cosmic twin, a two who came at the same time. A twin soul is a soul that has divided when it first incarnated in to this world and I'm talking about thousands perhaps even millions of years ago uh, a cosmic twin is somebody who is well incarnated at the same time not part of the same person but uh, very close friends if you like came in to do the same sort of thing and I think this is why you are quite fascinated with him I don't know how much contact you have with him, but you need to have more because you, you're individuals, really, and you have a lot to learn from each other because I think that there's a lot of dynamic energy which is coming around you next year and you need to put it into good use. You need to read situations well and I think you need to seize opportunities Will you be seeing each other soon? I think you will. But it's a case of whether he travels to you or you travel to him. But one way or another, you have things to do together. You have another man, um, M.H., born in Sydney, Australia. Now, this is of different energy. This is not as intense as the RP, but the M.H. energy is interesting because it feels as if this energy is easier, but probably uh, a, a twin soul again, as the other one is. Now, that may sound strange that you could have two, but the soul can split into three. And so maybe twin is the wrong word. But whereas I think the JT is a flame where there is a great love, beyond between you um, a twin soul is a part of your soul and I think that you like this one very much because this one is um, very much on your wavelength but a little harder to um, maybe pin down to certain things um, as we sort of move along. I'm, I'm looking at the one in Australia and I feel that he is quite keen on you in, in many ways. I do feel that some aspect of your current situation deeply touches your unconscious mind. So now it's time to reflect and to trust your feelings. You're going to have a lot of dreams and many intuitions and these will give you the best counsel. I think you have a strong interest in mysticism and I feel maybe a subject dealing with hidden aspects of existence. Um, something may happen suddenly because a matter of considerable importance is emerging in your life and it, it may be that um, an important person from afar may play an important role in your life now. But listen to your inner voice. That is the important thing to do. Life has not always been the easiest for you, 
but you always have this joy of life. You know that love is so important, but you need a soulmate, a soul, a twin soul, a cosmic twin, to help you with the work that you are intended to do in this world. Do you ever do any healing therapies? I don't mean as a client, but actually as a therapist yourself. I mean, I'm not quite sure what you do, if, if anything, but I, I can see that you would have the ability to actually work in healing areas. And uh, I feel that you are a beautiful person. There is, there is love which flows through you right from your inner core to your outer self. And people would always be attracted to you. And you have to realize that you're far more powerful than you actually realize. The universe is going to be offering and nudging and opening doors to permit you to express yourself more spontaneously and creatively. Trust in yourself and know that you have the power within to really work miracles because you will well, I'm going to leave it at that and I you know I, I don't know if I've given you the answers you'd hoped for or what but I've told you what I've truly seen for you and I really hope it's going to be of some help okay I'll leave it at that bye bye for now bye bye <laughs>